Essentially, the, the, the most basic part of the grazing stick is just basically a ruler that you stick down in the grass to get an average of the height. And when I say average, you have to look across your pasture to figure out what the tallest and what the lowest is so that you can really get an estimate of what is in the entire pasture. The other portion of the stick shows you, it's basically the dot area where you use this to measure your density. You stick the stick into the, the sward right down onto the dirt, and then once you've got it down all the way to the dirt, you basically count how many dots you're able to see, and that helps you determine what the actual density is uh, in that height. Also, it talks about on this stick the, uh, what, what the dots actually mean in terms of if you can see one dot versus three dots or more dots, it tells you what to expect on dry matter. And then as you turn it, it, ac it actually gives you the different types of grasses and clovers within the pasture, and meaning if you have orchard grass and clover, you need to be looking at a certain area of the stick for what the dots actually mean with the density and it also has your other grasses like perennial rye, clovers, fescues and, and other grasses you commonly see in pastures. So here I'm kind of standing in a part of the pasture where it's I would say it's average to a little less than average height. This pasture does have some ups and downs to it so it's good to find a couple different spots because within this pasture it goes from a foot tall and extremely thick to maybe six inches tall and, and quite a bit thinner. So with this with this pretty average spot you come down and the tallest blades are in that 11 to 12 inch range, however the average sward, when you bring your hand across, is somewhere more in that 9 inch range. So that gives you your height. So then once I find the height in this spot, you basically take the stick and gently get it down to the soil without hurting the grass too much so that you can get a good estimate. You get your dot side up, get it right down so it's right down on the soil and you have to, you, you can't have your grass stay flattened down because it's not going to give you an accurate estimate. You have to just kind of try to get the grass to its natural state. And essentially you look straight down from the top. This, this is a pretty thick section. Uh, it's always better to play it safe in terms of if you think maybe you can see a dot, say that you can see a dot. You don't want to overestimate your pasture because the worst thing you want to do is get your cows hungry because then they're going to overgraze and in the case of us not make as much milk when you go and get them in the morning or in the afternoon. I honestly can't really see one but uh, we'll, we'll play it safe and say there's a dot. In this stand and pretty much this entire pasture, uh, this is pretty much entirely orchard grass and white and red clover. So looking on this stick, orchard grass and clover, you have your different, uh, your, your different amounts of grass based on how many dots we saw. So I saw, I'm gonna say one. So essentially, that means that there's 250 to 300 pounds of dry matter grass per edible inch. So we said the average was nine inches. I don't want to take it down less than two inches. So we're gonna say, to play it safe, that there's 250 pounds per inch, meaning seven inches of grass. So you take 250, multiply it by the seven inches, and that is your dry matter of grass in the average part of the pasture uh, over, over this pasture. So once you've determined what your dry matter needs are for your herd, you base your acreage needed from that number.